Hi there, today we're unboxing a disc enclosure. So this particular one is by Terramaster. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So what's so good about this disc enclosure? Because you can buy a simple one like this, put your drive in there, and then obviously away you go, you're working. But the advantage of this one is the fact it can take two discs. And with two discs, what you can do, you can enable mirroring with it. So you can mirror your data, avoids the situation where there could be a possibility where you get data loss. So it's always a risk with using a single drive, always a possibility where one drive could fail and you could lose all your data. Now with this system, it connects via a Thunderbolt 3 connection, providing 40 gigabits per second lightning speed connectivity to your drive. So speed wise, it's dependent obviously connectivity from your computer to the actual device. And the other thing is the drives you have in the device. So keep that in mind. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the package. Just let me quickly run through them. You get some stickers so you can label the hard disks. Limited warranty, and this has details in different languages. Quick installation guide, and this points to a website to go to to give you instructions. And this is multi-language. You get two bags of screws, one for three and a half inch hard disk, and the other for two and a half inch hard disks. You get a reset pin here that I'll show in a moment where you can use that. Get a small screwdriver and a larger screwdriver, the larger ones for assisting in installing a hard disk. You get a type C cable, build quality is very good of this one and it's 65 centimeters in length. You get a power adapter, output is 12 volts, 3.33 amps on there. DC connection point on this one. Cable length is 90 centimeters and again, cable quality feels pretty good and that's the connection point on there. You get two cables for the power adapter. One has an EU plug on there. The other one has a UK plug, which has a fuse on there. Length of these cables, both of them come in at around one meter. And the quality of the cable feels good. Let's take a look at the hard disk enclosure. So in terms of size, it's not compact. I wouldn't say this is compact in any way, only because the size of the drives that would go in there, it's ample size to allow you to put in a three and a half inch drive. You can even put in two and a half inch drives in there as well. In terms of build, it's a strong, solid build on there. If I come around the bottom, you can see the air vents on there together with four rubber points on there. You can see the model there. So it's the TD2. Thunderbolt 3. Coming around the back, you can see a single fan, DC connection point, display port there, Thunderbolt connection there, and another Thunderbolt connection there. You can also plug this directly into a secondary monitor if you wanted. Up here, you've got the options, so you can see where the reset pin would go in, the hole just over here, and the small screwdriver would be used to change the settings on this. So you can actually go from using a single to RAID 0 to RAID 1 JBOD. Coming over on this side, it actually has a yellow sticker with details on how to set the RAID on the device. If I come in close, you can see your power on the device, use a screwdriver to rotate the pointer to the desired RAID type. So it shows the different types there. And then press and hold the reset button for five seconds to let the newly set RAID take effect. Format the RAID on your computer. Just a warning here, just letting you know that you will lose your data if you change the RAID mode. Flipping over this way, just some branding on there, and then you've got a handle at the top. In terms of dimensions, it's 22 and a half centimeters from the fan point to the end. Height is 13 centimeters. The feet below are about two to three millimeters. The width here is 11.8 centimeters. The handle is 11.8 centimeters by 3.8 and the width for that is 1.8. So it would have been nice, I would have thought, if it folded down so it made it a bit more compact. But it is very rigid, just to note, and build quality of this does feel good. Then coming at the front, you can see the two hard disk indicators, power indicator, you've got a power button there, and then you've got the two caddies for the drive pull one out and then pull the other one out. Looking inside the enclosure, you can clearly see the two SATA ports you have in there. So the caddy for the drive, all plastic in build, even the handle is plastic on there. Just coming around the side to show you what it's like. Got these flexible bits on both sides. So reasonable quality to it. Let's get this system set up. So I've got a three and a half inch hard disk here and the way it sits in like so, and you can see there's four points to screw this down. 
two there and two there and you just got to ensure your connectors are on the lower side here pretty obvious because you can't screw it in this way so let me put the screws in once it's firmly secured take the case and then slot it in and then lock it into position and it's simple as that let's test out this unit then so coming around the back you've got the DC connection point got the other end plugged in at the side there I can put that in there and then Thunderbolt connection is just over here I'll plug that in now type C connection on there which is Thunderbolt keep in mind that you have to have a computer with Thunderbolt connectivity on there if you haven't then this isn't going to work for you so next let me plug it into my computer and now looking at the front there it's currently off if I press the button powers on green light comes on you see two reds for a second for the hard disks and just a note coming around the back here if I come in close it's on single mode there and you can see at the, on the computer now it says new Thunderbolt device has been connected click here to approve the device I'll click on there click yes to that and there you go the following Thunderbolt device chain has been plugged into port one and one or more ports requires your permission to connect to the system okay if I drop this down always connect and okay to that now I've powered down the drive and I've put in two disks in there just so we can test out two scenarios first one being with the raid on and the other one with the raid off so let's power it on and at the back I'll flip over to raid one drives appeared and that's the config I had initially with single so now if I reset as I've changed over to raid there you go the drives have disappeared as you can see now looking around the front it was flashing for a moment gone to green now and if you look on computer management you can see a single drives appeared now if I initialize that right click new simple volume next to default values to this and there you go it's created so now let me start my speed test software select our drive which is the D drive and go for all tests speed test has completed and they're the results you're seeing there obviously as I've mentioned speeds are dependent on the drive you've got in there so if you're going to have an SSD drive you're going to see much faster performance from this so now let's flip this around change it to single so they're just individual drives on this and we'll hit the reset okay I've just heard the PC beep but let me just quickly open up computer management and there you go two drives have appeared and it's simple as that to reset there's no sort of software management or anything you just do it via the pin on the drive itself and now I can initialize these two both drives are ready now so I can close this off so I've started up my speed test software you can see the two drives in there D and E drives so let me quickly run a test of each of these test on the D drive is completed and these are the results presented do the same on the e-drive now okay so there you go the performance test has completed and you can see variations in the drive speeds so this is what I wanted to highlight I've got two drives in there and the fact one is slower the d-drive is slower and the e-drive is faster and when it's mirrored it would go at the speed of the slower drive meaning both writes have to complete before you can say the data successfully written to it so keep that in mind so performance all depends on the drives you put in there so you can put variations of drives and no issue with doing that keep this in mind so in terms of functionality it should work fine you should be able to do anything you want with it and the good thing about this is the flexibility of having the option to actually turn on raid one being for yourself very easy to configure no interface on there literally just turn switch reset pin and that's it as simple as that 
As I mentioned previously, the drive enclosure has another Type C connector on there, and this is Thunderbolt as well. Now, if I have a secondary screen, I can actually show that in action. So you can actually connect a screen directly from it, and it will pass onto your laptop. So I've got a Type C cable there, and the screen takes a Type C connector and plugging it in. There you go, second screen's appeared. And that can be either extended or used as a duplicate screen. Excellent bit of functionality, the fact you're not losing a port from this, you can gain additional functionalities. So if you're a creator and you want a dual screen, that facility is still available and you can protect your data at the same time too. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this disk enclosure from TerraMaster. Excellent drive here for portability and for creators, you could say. If you're in a situation where you don't want a NAS server, you just need something that will connect directly to your computer without any sort of messing around, fast connectivity on there as well, and the possibility of protecting your data. So having a drive like this, the only problem is there's no sort of security in your data being safe, unless you had two separate drives and you kept copying between the two. But in the middle of doing that, if one failed, then you're stuffed really. So this is the ideal solution. If you don't want a NAS server, you just want your data protected, this is the way to go. The only negative I've got to say about it is, I find it quite bulky, not really portable. It would have been nice if there's actually two versions of this, one for three and a half inch drives that can take both two and a half inch drives and three and a half inch drives, and another one specifically for two and a half inch drives. So that would have been a killer one to have, only because if you're traveling and you want to take your storage with you, you can easily do that and you know it's going to be protected. So there you go. I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.